Hi guys, Alec here and today I'm reviewing a 2005 Honda Civic SR. Check it out. Like a phoenix Born from the ashes I take care of my own Torn down where I sassin You can't suffocate my spirit Cause I'm the king of my own throne My own throne King of my own throne My own throne So I want to start off by giving a huge thanks to Cole for letting me drive the car. We've been trying to set up a date for me to review the car for a while now, and today both of us were off, so it just worked out perfect. When I get in the car, the first thing that I notice is the interior. A lot of people know EP3s for their interior, and for the fact that the shifter is actually on the dash right here, so it's not in the center. like. 100% of other cars are. It's it's up on the dash, which is just really bizarre, especially for a Honda. The interior is mostly plastic. It's all really nice built plastic, though. It, it, it doesn't feel cheap when when you get inside. It, it looks nice. It looks presentable. It's, it's classy. So there's some plastic here where they're trying to make it look like metal. And it gives a good feel to the inside of the car. The seats that come with the car stock are Recaro seats, which is amazing. I know when I went to buy my first car, I tried to look for any car that had stock racing seats. And these Recaro seats do a really nice job of holding you in. The car doesn't have much done to it. Just some basic bolt-ons here and there. There's an Apex exhaust, it's on Megan Racing coilovers, and it's got a k and intake. Oh, and it's got an eBay header. And those are, that's the best place to buy anything from is eBay. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't buy a turbo from eBay. It, it won't work out well. So in my opinion, when you hear the car, you really don't think that it's a Honda. Cole's built the car with a lot of class. He's done everything the way I think he should have done it. He hasn't cheaped out on anything, really. And it's pretty simple, to be honest. Now this Civic was the first gen Civic to come out with electric steering. I feel like it's a little touchy. No, it's not gonna be perfect from the get-go. I, I just think it's a little, a little too electric, you might say. Like I said earlier, the car's on Megan Racing coilovers, which makes for a stiff ride. I mean, they're pretty stiff. They're, it's not like driving on rocks the whole time, but to me, it's a really good stiffness that you would want to have in a daily driver when, you know, there comes a day when there's a nice back road and you just want to push it some. That's, that's when these coilovers are really good. And that's why Cole bought them, because he wanted to actually drive the car instead of, you know, being a grandma going around town from point, point A to point B. Now these cars aren't known for being super fast, but just like every other Honda, there's a supercharger out for them, there's a turbocharger out for them, and there's a lot of tasteful mods that you can do to the car. Now 
unfortunately, there was a Type R version of this that came with about 200 horsepower, but that version wasn't released in the United States. Another thing about the Type R is the Type R came in a six-speed, and I feel like a six-speed would be great in this car. Sometimes you might find yourself looking for a six-gear, and all there is is reverse. Now the engine that comes in this car from the factory is the K20A3, which is the version of the K-Series that had IV type. The unfortunate thing about the K20A3 is that this was the least liked version of the K-Series. It's the same version of the engine that came in the base model RSX. The only difference is that this version of the K-Series has the Type S intake manifold on it, which just makes it a little more efficient up at the top end. The good thing about this Civic, obviously, is that it's a hatch. So it's got tons and tons of room. The back seat's got plenty of headroom. It's a little low on the leg space, especially for a tall guy like me. But on the way to Honda Day, we fit five people in the car and we did a five hour trip all the way to North Carolina. So it wasn't too bad considering we could do a trip like that. And I think it would make a great car if you had a lot of friends and you were you know, in a situation where you drove people around a lot. The trunk space, there's a lot, a lot of trunk space. I mean, it's a hatchback, so you're going to get a lot of chunk space. When the car first came out, there were reviews saying how there was an issue with a lot of understeer going through the back roads and things like that. Well, I'm not getting a whole lot of understeer. Maybe that's because Cole has aftermarket wheels on the car. The electric steering does feel a little more touchy when you get up to the higher speeds also. So you want to be a, more, a little more careful with your steering wheel because it's not loose steering. It's really, really tight, really crisp movements. So make sure you're really focusing and you're really paying attention when you're pushing the car. Now to fit the K-Series engine in this car, they had to take out the double wishbone front suspension and they had to replace it with the uh, Macpherson struts. Forgive me if I butchered that. I'm pretty sure it's Macpherson though. Now it did fit the K-Series engine in the car but because of that, it took away the handling. In conclusion, even though this car doesn't have a lot of horsepower or a lot of torque, the car feels great on back roads if it's on an aftermarket suspension. It sounds great if it's got an exhaust and to fix that understeer problem after you have coilovers or springs you just put a little bit of a wider tire on the front so that way you get a lot less of that understeer on back roads. I'm gonna get one last pull in for you guys. Wait for this car to go by. For those of you who like the video or are interested to see more, please subscribe. It means the world to me for those of you who do subscribe. I promise it does. I'm not just saying that to say it. I wouldn't be doing any of this if, you know, I didn't have people watching these videos. Stay tuned for my next video. And until then, dare to be different and you gotta stay safe.